All right, so uh, here we are. Uh, hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is our first ever online CTF 001. Um, I am joined today by uh, Val Giovignoni from Ting, Vince Buscemi, uh, who is our, our MC of CTF's past, and Kim Samuelson, who is our coordinator and director of our CTF program. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Kim to help give us an overview about what you guys can expect today. Well, the, the whole idea of this came about when we were doing some um, work with our educational contacts here in Carroll County, and we thought, well, why not come up with a mini CTF to give like teachers and educators an experience on how to do that. Then, of course, COVID reared its ugly head. So then we decided, well, why couldn't we expand that and actually move it online for our CTF people and participants that um, missed our April events because we have two a year, April and November, which are hosted events. So this adds in well with that programming that we wanted to do. Um, as we laid the groundwork for an online version, it was simple transfer of the current puzzle sets that we have to be able to utilize them and bring a broader availability to the program. Um, there are a lot of online competitions out there um, for informed, knowledgeable, even professional teams. However, our brand is a more educational experience that allows uh, a free approach to cybersecurity. Um, we use a CTFD, which is an open source programming language, and it's a, it's a platform specifically for online CTFs that we've been able to modify and um, customize to how we do our educational program. Um, and that's it. I mean, we have some developers that spent, we probably did about 30 plus hours doing some customization. We still have some things that we can do to make this a better thing, but this first pilot um, CTF that we're doing today, I think is um, pretty decent and it'll give the kids and the participants a, a good branding or a good introduction to cybersecurity. So I'm psyched to see how it goes today. Yeah, thank you very much, Kim. Mm -hmm. and, um, <clears throat> and I should note that we have over 170 participants for this, uh, which is great for our first online, you know, first attempt at doing this. So um, uh, speaking of which, you know, we're, we're really leveraging our gigabit fiber internet here to do this. And so I'd like to introduce Val from Ting, the talk who is our sponsor, to talk about Ting. Val, take it away. Thanks, Graham. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Magic's first completely virtual Capture the Flag. Um, I'm Valerie. I'm the city manager for Ting Internet in Westminster, Maryland. Um, and we're excited to be sponsoring this event for you. It, it surely felt like a great match. Um, what is Ting, for those of you who maybe aren't from around here, you might ask? Um, we are an internet service provider that builds, lights, and services fiber networks across the United States. We're available in Westminster, Maryland, Charlottesville, Virginia, Holly Springs, Fuquay, Verena, Wake Forest, and Rollsville, North Carolina, uh, Centennial, Durango, and the Roaring Forks region of Colorado, Sandpoint, Idaho, and Fullerton in Solana Beach, California. So um, our crazy fast fiber internet is radically different from the old, slow, unreliable copper internet connections that we're all used to. So those of you competing on a Ting connection, you'll find our gigabit product to be an advantage. Um, we're crazy fast at a symmetrical 1000 megabits per second. So you upload just as fast as you download. Plus it's really reliable with no lag, no downtime and bandwidth hogging. Um, for those of you not competing on Ting, if you live in a town I mentioned, head to ting.com and check your address. It will truly up your game. Um, I'm really excited that Magic took the initiative to host a virtual event so that you could continue to strengthen your cybersecurity skills during these crazy times. So best of luck to all the competitors and of course, stay safe and have a good game. I, all I can say is that Ting's the fastest <laughs> internet in America. <laughs> So <laughs> I think that pretty yep. much says it all. And those of you lucky enough to live in a ting town anywhere in the U.S., your gaming is going to be better. That's just the way it is. So, um, you know, best of luck to you. You've got a special little punch behind you with ting. Thank you very much, Val. 
All right, so um, so Vince, uh, let's go through the hacker pledge. Um, this is something that you have done at all the other previous uh, what eight CTFs. Yeah. So let's do it for our participants. For this yeah, I, I I think I have it memorized. It, typically, we always have like a <laughs> like a production studio, and I've got a handler that hands me scripts, and Robert Wack is following me around and pushing me where to go and be on camera. I think it was something like um. I pledge allegiance to capture the flag of the magic ethical. No, 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 no wait. No. Um, no, uh, no, no. Um, I, I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my mm. heart to greater. No, that, no. That, that's the 4 H pledge. Not it either. Mm -mm. On my honor, I will do my best. No, no, that's the scout pledge. Uh, uh, yeah. oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, right, right. Sheriff DeWeese usually. Uh, here we go. I got it now. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. So uh, number 10, it's, it, we always uh, recite it in the live event. So I'll, I'll, I'll recite it now. I will be humble and always act with integrity. I will not seek fame or fortune, but use my skills to understand, be alert, and keep the public safe from harm. And that's truly the essence of what we're trying to do here is that yes, uh, there's hacking involved, there's uh, you know breaking in, there's crypto things where we're you know, having the um, students finding uh, things by using different uh, technology that's available online that could be used for harm. And we certainly don't want that to happen. This is an educational opportunity for them to learn. And uh, it's, it's really cool, like Kim was saying, and I think everyone's echoed that here we are in a uh, virtual experience, um, still making it happen. Uh, we've got the crazy fast internet with uh, Ting, and uh, it's, it's awesome to be here and to be a part of it. Thank you very much, Vince. All oh, right. gosh. I have to go get ready for the competition. So good luck to you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Kim. Good luck to you, Kim. Thank good you. Luck. We are three minutes away. I'm <laughs> going to share our screen, my screen here. Uh, let's see. I want to, hold on a second. I want to go through some of these team names. We've got some very clever team names, Vince, that I think All right. you'll enjoy. <laughs> so how many teams total are there? Uh, there are uh, over 27 teams this time around. Nice. Um, here, share screen. Here we go. Okay, so let's go to the team names here. We got a couple more minutes before the start. All right. We got, um, can you see it okay, Vince? Yeah, I can. Yeah. We got B1C, um, Kevin, teach us heap. I just want to know who Kevin is. Why isn't he teaching them heap? <laughs> we have uh we have our uh teams from from estonia it looks like yeah and for those who don't know paid paid or pi day paid estonia is westminster west the city of westminster is sister city in estonia. that's right and we've actually had some of their uh teams here in uh westminster competing at a previous event which was really really fantastic i like the, the chimichangas and and but and delicious i like i like that that's that's well done <laughs> Although chimichangas are always bigger than I'm expecting. I always think they're like enchiladas, but they're giant. I always think they're the, they're, they're the dessert of, of what, what am I thinking of? They're like that fried ice cream. That's got a, a unique name, doesn't it? Yeah. I think like it's a, called fried ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, oh, we got Carroll Community College. They're, they're in here, that's great. <laughs> the hack a -whack? yes. Yeah. Shout out to them. We got the UN, UN, University of Maryland Global Campus. Cyber Team One is here. Um, rats. They have no no affiliations. Just just rats. That's it. <laughs> so how many? Uh, I saw the one Estonia team. How many international ones? Uh, I believe the last time we had some folks from Ireland. We had uh, maybe uh, Colombia, and we had, um, uh, of course, all, all across the U.S. But I'm curious. Do we have any more of the international teams this year? Uh, yeah, so this St. Coleman's College, this is in Newry, uh, Northern Ireland. Oh, fantastic. Yep, yep. Uh, I know that there is, there's, a, there's a, a Kyoto, Japan team. Uh, really? That's yep. the first time. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, we have a couple other um, places. Uh, Universidad Federal de Pernambuco. I don't, I don't know yeah. if I'm that correctly. I, I thought I thought that was sounded very poetic, Graham. Thank you. Uh, we got oh, we got the Carroll County Career and Tech Center uh, is represented by Bonk Gang. <laughs> Excellent. I yeah. see. Uh, I see. Um, 
Nullix00 from India? Do we have a team in, in, from India right now? Look at that. Yeah, you know, when you go online, it's just, it opens up the whole world to you. <laughs> Indeed it does. Indeed it does. This is really fantastic. I mean, it's, it's really cool. You know, I, I have been a part of this um, since it was either the second or the third. Um, and each year it just, it changes, it gets better. It, it, it's different. We have more teams, a wider spread from, from all over the U S but then even on now all over the world. And here we are doing the virtual uh, experience. Um, it's just, it's just really great that, that, you know, we're all able to keep this thing going and that we have so much interest from around the world uh, right now participating. This is just, uh, it's, it's really exciting. It is. Yeah. Um, and some of these names are very clever. I mean, You've got it's taco time <laughs> trying to use code as their name. You know, I don't know if that those code will compile correctly, but you know, it looks good. We got anonymous from um, cartoon network or China. One of the, one of the two, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> scheming pigeons. No, again, no affiliation. There's nothing, something with the rats. And now we've got scheming pigeons and they're not affiliated with anybody. Right. There's a, uh, and now we've got uh, some zombies represented uh, with zombie bot coming out of uh, an educational VN. I'm not sure if that's a, a country code. Probably is. Probably, yeah. Um, that's Vietnam VN. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Vietnam. Hack this site. Oh, please don't. Whoever you are, <laughs> don't hack this site. You know, come on. Let's let's keep it clean. Let's but an uh, extra special prize if you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm a kidder. I'm kidding. Please right. don't. Please don't listen to Vince. Uh, let's see. Bora Nine again. No affiliation. Not not necessary. They don't want yeah. them to know. Um, no one knows. No one knows. The Kenyan team. Here we go. I assume that's Freaks. Is how you. I was. That? I I think so too. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. Very clever. Um, Puntera. <laughs> <laughs> own, own, own. I know that PWN means like they own you, right? Right. Terra meaning the earth, right? Latin for earth. Yeah, they own the earth. They own the earth. Um, Freakazoids, great name. Um, Excellent. Anyway, so, you know, and I think, let's see, we got, we're at near the end of the list here. Uh, Hacker Tub. Look at that, Hacker Tub, affiliated with obviously a made up word. So, I like I like the third to the from the bottom. I'm gonna try to do this individually coming from my house. <laughs> yes, yes, that's very sign of the times with COVID nineteen. Indeed, like my house. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we're all coming from uh, the house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Vince, this is great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, now, and, and again, I don't even know if this is really being streamed live right now or not, but we do have this video, certainly, and we will um, be able to post these recorded videos um, online. And we're going to do check-ins on the top of each hour. Um, Vince might not be with us, but me and Kim will be doing that, and then we'll have a wrap-up at the end around 3 o'clock to announce the winner. So if you are seeing this, please tune back in to our Facebook page to see us. Uh, check in as the competition uh, progresses. In fact, let's see if the scoreboard. Oh, Here exciting! Look at this. Look, at, Look this. at this. We already have lots of scores happening. Oh, right. whoa! The scoreboard's gotten a facelift. Check that yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a whole graph. Uh, yeah, we do. Graph. Um. So wow, B1C right out of the gate, thirteen hundred points. Yeah. You got it. We've got a very tight top uh, top four right there, top three for sure, and then another very tight uh, three to four, um, you know, right behind them. I mean, uh, it, it's exciting because it's still it's so early. I mean, we just kicked off at eleven o'clock. We're we're just starting, and and the the really fun thing being in the live uh, you know environment and seeing this uh, previously is just watching all of the teams flip flopping back and forth and um, you know, everyone's uh, you know, just going after that, that top. And it's like, you know, even to the very end, don't stop, don't give up because I've seen, I've seen teams change right, right in the last couple of uh, minutes. Uh, so it's, it's, it's definitely an exciting time. And um, looks like we have 49 teams who have posted points so far. We also uh, new to this interface, we have this tools tab, right? And the okay. tools provides this thing called Cyber Chef, 
that lets them search all these different sort of traditional, you know, ethical hacking tools for figuring out puzzles or, or you know, translating a hexadecimal to a text or something like that. So all these tools are available to them. So we, we made it really easy for them to find what they needed to be able to um, figure out what these puzzles, how to solve these puzzles. That's excellent. So that, that, that brings me um, to a, a question that I had. So typically we always have coaches in the room uh, helping them. Uh, is, is this replacing the, the coach model so that they're still able to get that help as needed? Exactly, yeah. So this is like a virtual coach for them. Oh, fantastic. Yep. And then of course, Google's gonna be their best friend as always as they, you know, Indeed. need to search. Um, some of these, because I think the level zero puzzles are mostly sort of almost like cybersecurity trivia questions in a way. Uh, okay. Like knowing who wrote the first book on cybersecurity, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. So they'll, they'll leverage Google for that mostly. But then once they get to level one, they're really going to need to use CyberChef. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is a, a really fantastic uh, resource for them. And hopefully they, they, they know to use it and use it often. And, and uh, you're always checking back there. Yeah. And we refreshed. So B1C, I mean, quite a sophisticated team posting this many scores right off the bat. I have a sense that they're not beginners. Yeah. <laughs> I think you might be right. Probably, uh, yeah. Although we, you know, sometimes we assume that the universities are the ones that are always going to be in the first place. But in years past, we've had some teams that are like just in high school, if not even um, still like in uh, you know upper middle school, um, and they've they've taken the uh, top prize. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and in, in other CTS, we have uh, the teams have to be affiliated. So you saw those affiliations where we saw no affiliation, none. My house. Yep. Previously, you had to be affiliated with a host location that was part of the program, you know, and that was either through a university or a library or, you know, high school. Uh, so this time, people can kind of come in from wherever, and that also poses the risk of getting a lot of elite teams involved who are just trying to rack up some points for themselves. And so, we, right. we, so to those teams, we see you. We know who you are. Yes, right. <laughs> you're not the only hackers here. That's right. <laughs> it's just um, looks like Chimichangas, your favorite team, is uh, coming up with number four right there. Let's see. Let's refresh. Woohoo! Yeah, Chimichangas. Not to be confused with enchiladas. Right. Chimichanga is a fried burrito, right? I think so. Right. Maybe but I'm it, thinking of chimichurra churros, or is that the fried ice cream? Yeah. There's chimichurra sauce. Okay. <laughs> on, that you get at Chili's when you get the fried shrimp. On yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what happens in a COVID environment when we're right. trying to, you know, we just start talking about Mexican food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, uh -huh. we have a new uh, leader. We have a new leader, Graham. RTB -E Sec. Look Ooh, at that. Look at that. Wow. 1800. Boy, they really jumped up fast. They did. They did. I, you know what? I need to find out how many total points you can actually get. I think it's like 2,700. So they'll have this, they'll be done with this competition in no time. Let's see. Oh, wow. Let me, let me ask Kim. Let me go to the judges here. All right. Total points. Let me refresh again. I believe there are two RGBs. There was RGB sec and then there was RGB. Oh my God, Graham. Look at that. Another, wow. another lead change. B1C wasn't having it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems to be in their, in their court right now. Those two, uh, the top two teams right now, are, have just completely uh, blown away from the rest of the pack. Yeah. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll check back in later, Vince. Um, thank you for joining us. We know that uh, you, you have lots of options for how you spend your time on a Saturday. <laughs> so thank you. For, uh, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good to see you. Good to hear your voice. And, um, you know, um, we'll follow this closely. I'll, I'll, I'll update you as we go along. Um, but, yeah, if, uh, if you want to check back in with us any time, we'll be doing this on the top of each hour and again at the very end. So um, if you are hearing us on Facebook Live, uh, you know, please be sure to check back in. 
So awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, inviting me back for the virtual, uh, you know, experience. This has really been a lot of fun, and I'm I'm happy to be a part of it again. And um, glad glad to see that you've you've uh, you know been able to figure this out and and uh, keep it keep it going because I was really bummed when you know we had to cancel it back in April. And uh, so this is uh, this is really fantastic to see it going. And um, I will certainly try uh, to uh, check back in uh, later on this afternoon towards the end of the game if I can. But if not, no hard feelings. I do apologize. Um, uh, you know, uh, the family calls, but I will, I will certainly try my best to uh, um, jump back in and see how it all uh, ends. So yeah. thank you very much, Graham. My pleasure. Thank you, Vince. Take care. All righty. Yep. See you now. See ya.